Hi, I'm Teresa with Howard from MyBodyMyImage.com and it's my pleasure to sit with Miss Wendy Whalen from New York City Ballet Principal. If you don't know, then I mean, I don't know where you've been, but <laughs> she, no, seriously. So she has uh, graciously decided to um, share with us our, our her body image um, story. All right, first of all, mm -hmm. I just want to say that the reason why mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you, mm -hmm. well, there's so many reasons why I want to talk to you, but the main reason relative to this topic mm -hmm. is because your body is a topic of conversation when it comes to, to dance and ballet. Mm -hmm. um, are you familiar with this conversation? I've heard about it. <laughs> because what's it interesting is sometimes, me. sometimes you don't know. Sometimes the person doesn't know and yeah. it's kind of happening. In I hear this. it from the outside right. and so, I'm always kind of like, what? So I'll tell you what the conversation is. Okay, tell me. The conversation is that, that you are thin. Mm -hmm. And people think, have a conversation about either you're too thin or you're perfect for the ballet. Mm -hmm. You know, the ballet aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And my question has always been, how does she feel about her body? Mm -hmm. Because everybody else seems to have this opinion about it. Yeah. And even though it may not reach your ears, I mean, it's kind of like this. Uh -huh. You know, we feel so free <laughs> to talk about, you know, our opinions about yeah. you. Yeah. So how do you actually feel about your body? I feel my body is a work of art. I do. I feel my body is a work of art. I've been working on it since I was three years old. Mm. And um, it, some people like my art and some people don't like my art. You, know, you go to the museum, you go to a modern, modern, basically more of a modern art museum if you want to see me. <laughs> and, you either, and you either are attracted to it or it's not your taste. And I'm okay with that. So, but but do you feel yourself too too skin, skinny or fit or just how are you in your body? I have. Or do um, you have even a relationship I've, to it that way? I have always felt really lucky to have my body. Mm -hmm. I've always felt extremely lucky to have my body and be a dancer. I feel it works and responds and has an intelligence for what it does. Right. So I feel I feel lucky that I found what my body was meant to loves do. to do, right. what it responds to. So that's one thing, but I've also been given this sort of a problem with it, which is I have a very crooked spine. Those scoliosis, right. So um, that has just kept me even more curious about my body, you know, I get, I get, I, I feel my body differently because I feel it as a spiral sometimes. Right. You know, and as I get older, and I, well, I felt it when I was younger. I felt it when I was going through the process of of, of trying to lessen the curvature mm -hmm. when I was in treatment when I was 13, 14. Okay, yeah. let's talk about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So, so you started dancing, and then and then you discovered the scoliosis. Yeah, yeah. And so, probably because you were dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did how what did it do to your body? Because I have students who literally spiral, like they try to stand on one leg, and their body like turns this way. Yeah. Because of of this, not just the scoliosis, it but also like the imbalances mm -hmm. and the weaknesses and strength. Mm -hmm. So, what, what how did you experience that in your life? Well, I had an incredible teacher when I was twelve. And he studied with Maggie Black, which mm -hmm. is all about balancing and even and um, finding your correct placement. But it, but it's about correct placement, right? And he taught me how to feel my joints mm -hmm. rotate and find an even as much of an evenness as I could. Uh, he also helped me discover the scoliosis because, because looking, I had I tried, looking at balance and saying, "Well, I had pulled my hamstring," and he sent me to an orthopedist mm. and the orthopedist discovered it and then this teacher also helped me to work my way back into dancing after having discovered it help, helping me find the ways to the ways to compensate to, it right, to or work to your with it. find the balance in it you know you're going to have to pull around a little more because you're twisted this way so right. you're going to have to think you know and it just going through all that um sort of figuring out of what this body issue was that I had right. um, really helped me to go go into my body and, and look at it 
sculpturally. And that's where like the, I think the intelligence part of it comes in because there's no way that you could have achieved what you have achieved without being diving into that intelligent, issue. physically intelligent about how, because it's not just stand on your leg and do. It's like, I have to figure out how to stand on this leg and, yep. and keep everything aligned and balanced. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. So sort of a study of physics that I had begun to do when I was um, <laughs> About 12 years old, I sort of studied a new like, like alignment in physics of my physicality when I was young. So, And when you discovered, I mean, scoliosis is not that, it's no, not rare, it's very not common. At all. But for dancers, depending on the, the grade of it, it can be really difficult to work with or it, it's a non-issue. It just makes it um, a, one more puzzle to figure out. So when you heard this news, mm -hmm. What was your reaction? Like, what type of student were you? What type of child? Like, what did that do? Were you like, oh no, do no, this no, 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 no? I wasn't. I w I've never been. I've always been a positive, somehow positive person. So I, I looked at it and I was. I didn't think it was the end of anything. Mm. Um, I actually, I think I actually might have realized that it was something that was I was going to learn something from. Comes, right. Yeah, which was kind of curious to me. Um, and then as I went through the process and I could feel my body change, I mean, I, the first uh, week of treatment I did was, was in a children's hospital and I went into traction with my neck, in a, right. in a traction in my hips and traction with weights pulling my to neck. To try to get it to... Yeah, it lengthened me out all day. I was in traction all day and all That's night. Horrible. And it was like very medieval that torture. It is very medieval <laughs> torture for a te young teenagers. And there was a whole floor of us girls with Just in traction right yeah. there. Oh my God, that was like this. No, oh, it's really. That's a great shot for like a movie right now. Crazy right movie. Yeah. yeah. So, and we were all friends and we, and then we would go do like, you know, art therapy together and then have lunch and then go back into the traction and yeah, do all kinds of, yeah. Do they still do this? I don't know. I wonder, because it's really. Curious. That is really interesting. I would like to know. I know I would too, because it's it's that was the late seven late no it was the early eighties. Right. So that's that. what the, that's probably what they're like. This is the way to do it. This is the way yep. to fix it. And it's come such a far away. I think. So, I grew an inch and a half after a week From, of traction. Wow. And then um after the traction week they put us back in traction in the casting room and then they put us in the traction and they put us in a body cast. So oh, we Frida, were, Frida it was Kahlo. like putting braces on, you know. It's like very Frida Kahlo, you know, like. Uh -huh. it, it was intense. So and, I did that. Pain, no doubt, painful. Uh, um, Uncomfortable. It was, it was the hottest summer. Oh, oh, that's horrible. In New York. I mean, in Louisville, when I, where I grew up. So, and I had 15 pounds of plaster cast on the whole summer. It was nasty. Yeah. You can't take a bath. I mean, you can take a bath. But like a sponge, like, yeah. yeah. But they don't do this anymore. We already know right now they don't do that anymore. They can't. It's unhealthy. It's the, it. But then, um, so I did that five different series of that a week at a time. A wow. week of traction, a cast for a month. A week of traction, a cast for a month. I did that, I, I think, four or five times. And then... Um, and so no, no dancing, because obviously you're in this intense therapy. No. My teachers said to me, you're doing so well. You're learning and you're picking up think new things so quickly we don't want you to stop while you're in that cast. You come into the summer course with your cast on and you do what you can do. And I did. That is crazy yeah. but absolutely amazing. And so one teacher laughed at me, which was <laughs> because, broke, broke because, my heart. Because you were in the cast. She like, didn't she didn't get it that I was there. But the teachers that told me to go they got were it. so proud of me. And they worked with me and helped me. Who's this? This is Charlie Rose. That's Charlie Rose. <laughs> I'm on your show. Charlie Rose. I do. She, she wants to be on the camera. <laughs> so anyway. That's amazing. I danced. I was doing, I did whatever I could do, low legs. But but instead of trying to go for extension, because it was I could only go to a certain degree. Because you had the cast on. I tried to do the turnout and the lengthening. This was different different object different goal right because I had limits so I used my limit as a new goal that and is really interesting so much for me because I think that like when we talk about facility and, and having and not having in in terms of rotation or mm -hmm. flexibility or mm -hmm. your feet or whatever 
it's very interesting that sometimes that boundary creates the breaks, opening. It breaks it, it, it's a whole other men, mental place and a physical place. And so, like, just like injury, I think injury is a phenomenal thing because you also yeah. you start to learn how to work in a different way. Yeah. So this might have, might have been, we might have gotten one of the answers no, that that true. your understand your intense physical internal understanding mm -hmm. and detail and mm -hmm. patience mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. and curiosity. Yeah. And but I also had somebody monitoring me and helping me to see where those doors were that I could go through. Right. Which was, I mean, I couldn't. I was thirteen years old, and they helped me see. Okay, well, you can't do that, but you could do this, right. and you can do that. This is this is making things no, it's for huge. me. It was huge. Because when I, I have another question later that I want to ask you, okay. that I now I get it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I found that I had an overall. <laughs> um, 